Hi, welcome to Storytime for the week of February 1st. Our topic today is tigers. If you'd like a tiger craft, you can pick it up in the children's room while supplies last. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 973-538-6161. Our first story is called The Tiptoeing Tiger. Everyone in the forest knew that tigers were sleek, silent, and totally terrifying. When a tiger prowled through the forest, everyone found other places to be. But no one took any notice of little tiger. No one jumped when he roared. No one ran away when he tumbled through the forest. His brother laughed. Oh, little tiger, you're too small and clumsy to scare anyone. I am not, said little tiger. I'm sleek, silent, and totally terrifying. His brother smiled. I don't think you could scare a single animal in the forest. I can, said little tiger, and I'll prove it. Little tiger began to tiptoe through the forest as silently as he could. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Roar! You don't scare me, on boar. I could hear you coming a mile away. Bother, said little tiger, and he set off again to find someone else to scare. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Roar! Hello, little tiger, said elephant. Did I scare you, asked little tiger. Oh, no, you're much too small. Drat, said little tiger, and he set off again to find someone else to scare. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Roar! Was that meant to scare us, asked the monkeys laughing. Yes, it was, said little tiger. The monkeys just kept laughing. Little tiger felt sad. I may not be sleek, silent, or totally terrifying, he thought, but I will find someone to scare. Just then, a frog jumped, splash, into a pond. This is my chance, thought Little Tiger. I can scare that tiny jumping frog. He crept silently up to the water's edge. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Roar! Oh, help, cried Little Tiger. Bravely, Little Tiger tiptoed back to the water's edge and slowly peered into the pond. A tiger, sleek, silent and totally terrifying, peered back. Well, little tiger asked his brother, did you scare anyone? As a matter of fact, I did, said little tiger. Myself. And that is the tiptoeing tiger. Our next one's called Cats Are Cats. When I think of a cat, I don't think of a big tiger. Miss Bell loved cats. One day she went to the pet shop to get a little kitten. He was very cute. He had stripes like a tiger. He had a tail like a tiger. He had a smile like a tiger. So Miss Bell named him Tiger. She loved her little tiger very much. She played with him. She fed him. She watched TV with him. Tiger grew and grew and grew. He roared a big tiger roar. Tiger took over the whole house. And sometimes he made a big mess. But he was still very cute, and Miss Bell still loved her tiger. Cats are cats, she said. One day they went for a walk.
tiger stopped at the pet store. Cats are cats, said Miss Bell. They love fish. Tiger was happy. He loved his fish. One of his fish grew and grew and grew. But she was still very cute. Fish are fish, said Miss Bell. I think that fish was a shark. And that is cats are cats. This one is I am a tiger. I am a tiger. No, you're not. A tiger is much bigger than you are. And it has a bit more grr. Tigers can be small too. Grr. Not that small. A and a tiger has stripes. Some do. This one doesn't. So there. I am a tiger. A tiger can climb a tree. Can you? I could climb a tree. I could climb to the moon if I wanted to. Most tigers can. I am a tiger. Go on then. Climb to the moon. I can't now. It's time for my lunch. A tiger hunts for its lunch. Grrr. I am a tiger. No, you're not. You're a ha ha choo. I am not a ha choo. I am a tiger. No, I am a tiger. Ha ha ha. You are not a tiger. You are a mouse. Look at Look at your tiny, twitchy nose. Look at your little hands and feet. I'll bet you had cheese for breakfast. I am a tiger. I can do this. Can you? How about this? Oh dear, you, sir, are definitely a mouse. I am a tiger. If I am a mouse, then what are they? Furry, stripy, funny looking face. This is a caterpillar. Long, red, likes to bounce. This is a balloon. Thin, pointy, hangs in a tree. This is a banana. Tiny, colorful, sits on a stick. This is a lollipop. Now, I really must be going. My lunch won't catch itself. What a silly old bunch. Gah! I'm not a tiger. How could I be so wrong? Look at those teeth, those claws, that tail. It's obvious. I am a crocodile. And there's that mouse who thinks he's a tiger. I am a tiger. Okay, so we're going to make a tiger face. And our tiger face is very simple. We give you a, a circle for a face. Then we're gonna give you two ears and two pink inner ears and then the white of, excuse me the white of his eye the round black of his eye his nose his muzzle and stripes now with the stripes I'm gonna give you one long stripe and then eight stripes that are the same size. 
But what we did to make it easier for you guys is you just put your stripes, <clears throat> you put the long stripe in the center of his forehead, and then the eight stripes you glue down, and then you glue however you don't want on his front of the face on the back so that his stripes are the size you want. And that's how you make a tiger face. Enjoy making it. See you next time. Bye-bye.